This episode of Cold Case Investigations of the Texas Rangers contains graphic and disturbing images related to this ongoing cold case criminal investigation. Not suitable for young viewers. Viewer discretion advised. I'm Sergeant Oscar Vietti, in this episode of Cold Case Investigations of the Texas Rangers, we're in Van Horn, Texas. During this episode, we explore the Penny Portwood case. Maybe you have the answers to solve the case. In July of 1985, Penny Sue Portwood was traveling from Florida to California. Penny was traveling with her six-year-old son at the time, and she had recently ended a relationship in Florida and was moving to California for a fresh start. Penny had picked up two hitchhikers in Florida who rode with her in her 1972 Toyota car pulling a U-Haul trailer. On July 26, 1985, during the travel, Penny opted to rent a hotel room at the Quality Inn in Van Horn, Texas for the night. The Quality Inn was hosting players from the local baseball tournament at the same time. The baseball tournament consisted of teams from surrounding towns including Pecos, Odessa, and New Mexico. On July 27th of 1985, Penny Sue Portwood was hanging out at a hotel pool just like this one in Van Horn, Texas. Penny Portwood had met some guys at the local baseball tournament here in Van Horn. She spent the evening hanging out with them at the hotel pool, having a few drinks and having a good time. When Penny failed to return to the hotel room the following morning, Culberson County Sheriff's Office was contacted and initiated an investigation. That afternoon, Penny's car was found south from the Quality Inn and east from the baseball field. The vehicle had apparently been driven into a large drainage ditch. Blood was found in the vehicle. The day after Penny Portwood's vehicle was found by the baseball fields, her body was found a short distance away in an area like this. On July 29, 1985, Penny's body was found east of the baseball field and west of where her vehicle had been found. Penny was partially nude and it was apparent that she had been the victim of a vicious attack. The evidence in the investigation includes forensic evidence, DNA, fingerprints, and other evidence. Despite best efforts by investigators who have followed numerous leads and conducted numerous interviews, the investigation went cold. The Texas Department of Public Safety and the Rangers searched social media for several weeks trying to locate any Penny Sue Portwood family member. Penny Sue Portwood's half-brother, Jonathan Portwood, was located in Ohio. He describes his brief relationship with Penny Sue's son, Christopher Portwood. He and I first made contact on the phone for the first time. The one thing he consistently kept asking me is, can you show me my mommy's grave? I want to see my mommy's grave. And when I had my brought into Columbus, I drove him down to Hamilton and where Penny is buried and showed him his mommy's grave. And all he wanted to do was just touch it and rub it. It was pouring down rain that day, but he got to reach down and touch his mom's grave. That's all he wanted to do. Penny, her son Christopher, and the Portwood family deserve peace and justice in this case. The identity of the person or persons responsible for this crime needs to be determined so that they may be brought to justice. If you have any information regarding the Penny Portwood case, contact us at 1-800-346-3243 or submit a secure tip through Crime Stoppers. For Cold Case Investigations of the Texas Rangers, I'm Sergeant Oscar Vieira. We'll see you next time. If you have information on this cold case or any other cold case, go to www.dps.texas.gov forward slash cold case forward slash home forward slash view cases or the Crime Stoppers hotline at 1-800-252-TIPS.